The following video will demonstrate how to add a new user code and user schedule to your GC2e security system. Note, only the master user or installer can edit current users and change user codes. In order to access the edit user menu, you'll need the master user or installer code. Begin by pressing the security button located on the home screen. Then press the menu button. You'll then press the toolbox button. Then add the master user or installer code. Next, press user management. And you'll see a list of your current user's codes. To add an additional user, press one of the add user buttons. Use the number keys to add the desired code for your new user. And then press OK. Then enter the code a second time to confirm and press OK once again. You'll then see a success message on screen. Press OK to close the success message. Now that you've added the new user's code, it's time to decide when the alarm system will recognize this user code. You can program the alarm system to recognize this user's code always, never, or by schedule. If you select either the Always or Never option, then you're now done adding the new user. You can press the Home button to return to the home screen. The new user code will be automatically saved. If you selected the Always option, the user code is now active and can be used to disarm your system any day or time. If you select By Schedule, the system will only recognize the user code on the specific days and times you select. For example, let's say you have a user named Jane Doe. You only want Jane to be able to disarm your system on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. You can create a schedule for Jane, or any user, by pressing the Buy Schedule option, and then pressing the Edit Schedules button. The User Access Schedules menu will display Press the Add Schedule button, located in the bottom right corner of the screen, and you'll have the option to create a reoccurring schedule or create a one-time schedule valid for one day only or multiple days. Let's take a look at the reoccurring schedule option first. Press the button below the Schedule Type section, which reads No Days Selected. The Reoccurring User Access Schedule menu will display Select the desired weekdays. In this example, we want Jane's code to work only on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Then select the desired time frame for this user's code. Press the first time button to select the start time. You can use the up and down arrows to select the desired hours, minutes, and the AM or PM option. When you're done selecting the desired start time, press OK. Repeat this same process to select the end time. Once you're done selecting the days, start, and end times, press the OK button. Then press OK once more. You'll then see your newly created schedule listed on the User Access Schedules screen. The schedule is now active and the user code will only work during the days and times you selected. If needed, you can add more than one schedule for a single user. For example, let's say we want Jane's code to also work on Mondays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Press the Add Schedule button again to add an additional schedule. And once again, you'll press the Reoccurring option and then press the button below the Schedule Type section. Select the weekdays, start and end times for this additional schedule. Press OK. And then press OK a second time to save and activate this additional schedule. You'll then see the second schedule listed on screen. In addition to reoccurring schedules, you can create a one-time schedule for a specific date or date range. Select Date if the schedule will only last one day, 
and select Date Range if you'd like to create a schedule spanning several days. Once you've selected your desired schedule type, press the button below the Schedule Type section and repeat the schedule programming process outlined earlier. If needed, you can go back and edit a schedule, navigate to the User Access Schedules screen, select the desired schedule, and repeat the schedule programming process mentioned earlier in this training. If you need to delete a schedule, simply select the desired schedule from the User Access Schedules screen, press the Delete button, and then press Delete Schedule to confirm. A message will display on screen confirming the schedule was deleted. Press OK to close the confirmation message. Once you're done creating all schedules for this user, press the Home button to exit the User Access Schedules menu and return to the Home screen. Your changes will be automatically saved. Congratulations! You've now successfully added the new user code and created the user's schedule. He or she can now only disarm your panel during the specified dates and times. For questions regarding this procedure, please contact Alert360 Technical Support.